Big Z Reviews. Avatar, The Last Airbender, is the second at attempt at an adaptation of the amazing Nickelodeon um, American series that's like inspired by anime. But it's actually it's a cartoon. And I, it's, it's not horrible, but it's not good. The Fire Nation has destroyed everything in their path. If the world is going to have any chance, it's going to need Aang. Right. There goes the savior of the world. So this is uh, created by Albert Kim, and it mainly stars uh, Gordon Cormier as Aang, uh, Kia Wentio as Katara, Ian Usley as uh, Sokka, and uh, the Dallas Liu as Prince Zuko. And, uh, you know, this is after M. Night Shyamalan's disastrous adaptation. This is essentially the same, where we still have only seen book one adapted. Like, you know, the first season or whatever, the first arc of Avatar. Uh, and this is, this is funny. They adapted, like, the same exact stuff. Except they adapted more of it. This one is definitely more accurate to what the original was. But I feel like in, in just copying what the cartoon did, they kind of lost the soul of the series. Like, I definitely feel like if you've never watched Avatar The Last Airbender, you have more of a chance to like it than if you've watched the cartoon. And, you know, I've, I've watched it through, like, at least twice. I can't remember, like, if I, the first time if I might have not seen all of it, then I, I watched it on, on DVD or Blu-ray, and then I watched it again on Netflix. And I'm not sure. At least two times I've seen it. But, I mean, it, it, but at the same time, it's not precious to me. Like, Avatar The Last Airbender is something that I really enjoy and I kind of love. But it's still, I don't find it precious. But even for me... I, I found that they lost the fun. Like, so much uh, about the show is this group of friends going on adventures in this really interesting world. And this one, I feel like they're just, like, banging out, like, okay, we gotta do this, we gotta do this one, we gotta do that one, we gotta do that one, we gotta do that one. And then, like, they, they, they mention that when the Zuko, when they're, like, talking to people, that, like... They were having snowball fights in this area or something like that. And it's like, well, why don't why didn't you show them having fun? It's like they're like having fun off screen between the episodes. Because every, so much of this is like so serious. And like the episodes that they pick, I mean obviously they have the what they have ones that are important, but like they're all very serious and like the massacres and like the weird the weird spirit monster and the, like and the you know the backstory for Prince Zuko you know the torturer of the the evil father like there's so much of it is the heavy stuff and Avatar the Last Airbender had heavy stuff into it it's it's like a very adult kids cartoon like it's very very um there's a, a lot of depth to the show. But I feel like in the adaptation, they just tackled the serious stuff and lost the fun. And I mean, Gordon Cormier as Aang, I liked him. And Kiwentio as Katara was good. I found uh, Ian Usley as uh, Sokka. I don't know, like, his face is odd. Like, I don't know. I know he, Sokka is a goofy character, but like his face doesn't, something about it doesn't look real. I don't know, like, he, it's, it's, it, I have trouble looking at him sometimes. I don't mean to be offensive at all. I mean, he's a handsome man and, and some, I, from some angles, but, like, something about him is weird. And, but it's just, it's just the adaptation. It's just, I'm, I'm not sure what I think about it. Like, definitely, once again, like, One Piece, I, f I feel like, was much, m got the tone of the series much better. But even, like, like One Piece, like everyone's outfits are so crisp, they're so perfect, and I was like, I know you're trying to recreate like the the cartoon 
but like when you do it real world, it looks like they went from a hangar in the in the uh, the dressing room, like right onto the character. Like put some dust, put some dirt on those costumes, make them like make them feel worn. Like this this world, these everything about it doesn't feel lived in, and. Like it's just like, like I don't I didn't hate it though, like I've seen a lot worse adaptations, a lot worse series, but like it's I I I don't know. I, I at the same time you know if they they do a season two I'll watch it, but I might grumble again. You know <laughs> I hope they have a little bit more fun if they do a season two, like just there is a lot of seriousness to it because I mean this is the whole thing where. The Avatar is like each each generation. There's a new Avatar, and they have like this whole every people they have these magic powers. Like not everyone, a lot of people are are normal, but then people have like they can manipulate fire, they can manipulate water, they can manipulate earth, they can manipulate air, and then the Avatar is the only person that can manipulate all of the elements, and he brings balance to the world. But Aang. Like, he is, like, doesn't want to be the Avatar, and he kind of runs away from the Air Nomads. Like, right as the Fire Nation is launching an attack to kill all the Air Nomads. But, like, he gets, like, lost at sea, and he, he forms, like, goes in Avatar state. And, like, and getting this giant frozen ball. And he's, like, on ice for, like, a hundred years. So now, at, since with him, with the Avatar not there... The Fire Nation has like taken over most of the world, although like the Earth nations are are some they're still strong and they've kind of walled themselves off from the rest of the world, and they're still like um you know they surviving against the Fire Nation. But the Fire Nation is gonna try again to rule the entire world, burn it all down. And the dude like Prince Zuko, it's not bad. I I like Dallas Lewis with him, but like I wish that this Scar like the Scar. He like, keeps scars from his father, and that sometimes it looked okay. Other times it looked like it was nothing. I feel like that, like in the in, it can brutal. Like he is really scarred. I feel like that is kind of like the game a little a little tiny birthmark almost. But I, I love you, know, Uncle Uncle Iro, um, Paul uh, Sun Hyung Lee. I he, he's a pretty good casting for that, and Daniel Day Kim as a Fire Lord or, or Osai was was good too. But like, there's not that much in the way there is good. Like, he's a real asshole, a horrible dad. And, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do, and I, I hope they do more of it. I just feel like you can't just go, let's do, okay, this episode, this episode, this episode. Like, like this, I mean, like, each one, I feel like they have to let it breathe. You know, let them breathe in this world. Don't be so, like, you have, what, like, three or four seasons of, of show, of animation to, to uh, adapt. Like, there's a lot of show there. So, I mean, like, take your time and, like, let the characters breathe a little. Like, let them have fun. And I know some of the CGI for some of the characters are, ugh, they're not the best. And some of the some scenes are pretty stupid. But at the same time, I don't hate it, you know? Probably give, like, a 7 out of 10, 6.5 out of 10. Like, it definitely, I wouldn't be, I, you could definitely rate it lower, and I could see you absolutely hating it. But I could also see you really loving it if you know, if, I think it'd be tough for you to love this show if you know the original. But if you don't know the original, I think a lot of people could really love this. Like, it's, it was, it'd be interesting to see, like, more and more, like, what the, the mass reaction is. But for me, it was just okay. But uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of me, you can subscribe down below. Thanks.